Hello everyone, welcome back once again. In this video, we will look at getting started with web design and development inside the Visual Studio 2022. We will look at HTML and CSS. We also look at how we can start a basic website in Visual Studio 2022. But before we get started, please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't. So let's get to it then. So HTML stands for Hypertest Markup Language for web pages. So with HTML, you can create your own website. CSS stands for Cascading Style Sheets. And also CSS describes how HTML elements should be displayed. So enough of all of that. So I, if you look on the screen now, I've got Visual, um, Visual Studio installer opened. So to get us started, we, we come to the modify bit here. So we have to make sure that we've got the ASP.NET and web development box checked and then we download and install it. So if we look at it here, this actually helps us to build web applications using ASP.NET call, ASP.NET, HTML, JavaScript, and whatnot, yeah? So once you've got this bit sorted out, then we can close it and we open it in Visual Studio. So as you can see, I've got Visual Studio 2022 opened. So we start without any code. Yeah, so if you look at it here, we've got uh, Visual Studio opened. So the next bit is we click on the file and then open. Yeah, so if you look at it here, we've got website here. So now we can come here. So you could open your website from a file system. So you can create your own folder with, with your website inside and open it from here. Or you can use the local IIS, yeah? So basically, if you've got um, any website installed on your local IIS, you can open it from here, right? But you can also um, add a new website by coming to this bit here. So here, you can create a new site. You can um, create a new web app or create a new virtual directory. So we're just gonna create a new website here. I'm just gonna call it YT test two yeah so we just select it yeah and then we click on the open so as you can see here now we've got a blank folder open here with nothing inside so we get started by adding a new folder so this folder we're just going to call it css yeah we add one more folder and call this folder JS. So we right click. So this is how we add um, the web development um, tools or whatever. So we can come inside it. We can click right click on the folder. And from here, as you can see, yeah, we can add a style sheet straight up from here uh, or less. Yeah. But we can also click on the add new item. Yeah. So here, if you can see, yeah, we can add a whole bunch of stuff to it. So now, since we're actually adding a CSS, so we're just going to look for the style sheet. So we're just going to call this style. So it's style.css. So this is what we get. We get this little thing with the body. Then next thing is we're going to add an, another item so we come to add new item so here as you can see here we can add html file as well so we click on the first bit the first result is html so we're just gonna we're just gonna call this index index dot html So this is what we get. So we're just gonna move, we're just gonna split the screen. So we have the, our style here and then our um, HTML as well. So this is what we're just gonna add a bit of style to the CSS. So we're just gonna put in background color. So 
So we're just going to make it light blue. And we're just going to put test align. We're going to set that to center. So we're just going to leave it like this for now. So inside the body here, this is what we're going to do. We just, I'm just going to copy and paste this. We just, this is what we're going to put inside. We're just going to put something inside. Yeah, so this is what we put inside. So we come back to the style. We're just going to put H1. So we can say font family. So we could just add any font. It's not really important. It's just for this video. And then uh, font size. Just going to make it 24 pixel. That's all we're going to do for here for now. So this is how we can also add our JavaScript here. We right click it and add new item. So if you can see here, here we can also add our JS. So we're just going to make this main.js. So this will actually be our JavaScript. So as you can see here, it's very, very easy to get you started. And obviously with Visual Studio, you get all these tools to, to actually make you more productive, right? So um, this is what I'm going to do. So here, as you can see, yeah, we can run it. We can run it on eyes, look eyes, yeah? And here, we can right click on the index, yeah? And here, we can set it set as start page so that once we click, if we've got a bunch of HTML file, once we, once we click on the play or F5, we get the index.html to be our first file to run, yeah? So we can click on this and let's see what actually comes out of it. So here, we, we are prompted, the page cannot be run in debug mode because debugging is not enabled in web.config. So we can actually click OK here to add a, a new file, the web.config file. Uh, we could just run without debugging. Yeah, so this will be actual control F5. So as you can see here, this is what we get. So we've actually got, I mean, obviously, we have our HTML headers and, and all that being printed here. So it's not really, difficult to actually get you started here. Yeah? So as you can see, I'm just going to leave it here. And I hope this, this actually helped you to get you started with the web design and development in Visual Studio. So I'll make a video later on to, to dive deep, deeper into this and what tools that we can use and it's uh, Visual Studio has to offer. So once again, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please make sure you do because um, I've got lots of videos coming up and I hope you have a lovely morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are. Peace.